Today I'm going to show you how to make some really cute conversation heart yard signs for your front yard here on Chip Builds. So we're going to choose the thick drop board settings and for our engraved settings we have a custom we have speed of 480 with the power of 32 and then for our custom cut settings. So next we're going to hit the three dots in the top right corner to allow us to set the focus on the material. Sometimes this will take a long time or a short time depending on a bunch of different things and then so once we have it focused and you can see the material has shifted in the camera view and then we can hit the ready button and it's telling us that this project is going to take 30 minutes. Now roughly all of these took about the same amount of time and so it really wasn't that long of a project to complete on the Glowforge. All right, so since these hearts are two layered, we are gonna put some glue in between the two layers and clamp them together. That way we get a really strong bond. Uh, I wanted these to be half an inch thick, which is why we cut out the two pieces of quarter inch on the laser. I just think the double layer will hold up better than the single layer to the elements and everything that goes along with it. So you can optionally just take a brush to kind of spread the glue around, but I'm lazy, so I'm just gonna take the top layer and kind of swoosh it around to spread it as much as I possibly can, like so. So if you find that your pieces are sliding around way too much with wood glue, you can sprinkle a little bit of salt in between the two layers and that will prevent them from sliding around as much. I just got this bag of cheap clamps at Home Depot. Now this one wants to slide around a whole lot. And so with this squeeze out, I am just going to spread it out so it's not perfect it does definitely want to slide so just keep that in mind when you're doing this project So now we're just gonna let that dry and then we can remove the clamps after a couple hours and start painting them. So I'm just gonna use this box cutter to remove some of the glue squeeze out. I'm not gonna get everything, just the really big spots. So MDF really will soak up any kind of paint that you put on, so you do want to seal it beforehand. I did do this example just to show that it really does need a kind of base coat or even like a coat of glue or Mod Podge or whatever uh, because it just really soaks up that paint. So we're going to hit all of these with some primer. All right, so now we're going to take these different colors of pastel spray paints and we're going to paint these different conversation hearts all a different color so that they kind of match the real life thing. Then we can attach them to the fence post to put into the ground. So whenever you're using spray paint, you want to make sure that it's really well shaken. And because we have that primer coat on, this is looking really nice. Now I'm going to move this onto a piece of cardboard so that it could dry. So next up, we have this green apple color. Having one of these little squeezy things really helps a lot too. It helps give you more even coverage. All right, and that looks good. And so we can move this one as well. Now we're gonna use this lilac purple. Purple is my mom's favorite color. So of course this had to be incorporated into this project. So then we're gonna do a nice apple red. All right, this one's done. We can go put it in the sun to dry. We only got two colors left and two hearts left. So next up we got this ocean mist. This is one of my favorite colors. I absolutely love this color of spray paint. And last but not least, we have a baby pink. All right, and now we can move this one as well to start drying. 
Okay, so for these little fence pickets, which we're going to attach the hearts to, I'm just going to use this white primer paint because they're going to be white and it doesn't need to be anything crazy. All right, these are all painted and we're just going to let them dry. So now it's time to glue the fence post to the back of our heart. We're going to put some Gorilla Glue in here and then we're going to use an inch and a quarter screw just from the back of this to really clamp it together to allow the glue to dry. So I'm just trying to make sure that this is relatively centered. So with the one screw in, I am just kind of adjusting this to make sure that it is in fact centered. And there we have the first one done. So this one is a little crooked, so we're just gonna adjust it like right there. That looks good. And then we can put our next screw in. Number two down. So then we're just going to repeat the same process for all the rest of these. Okay, so now we can fill in the words and I'm just going to take a little tiny bit of red spray paint to fix that little spot that I punched through the heart. Well, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know down below if you have any questions. And as always, I'll list all the materials that you need to make this project in the description down below. But if you do make this, please tag me over on Instagram or Twitter or wherever. I would love to see how you do this. So thanks for watching, guys. See ya. Bye.